I think it will be a crime coming on YouTube and not reviewing a My Story animated video. Because firstly, it's my favorite channel. Secondly, their videos are amazing. Thirdly, it's just 13 minutes and 32 seconds. So you guys can at least spare 16 minutes with me. Because I'll be blabbering throughout the whole entire video. But I can definitely tell you, watching MSA channel is amazing. If you guys aren't watching it, you're not with me. So yeah, let's go ahead and watch this. Remember to like, subscribe, and yeah, let's get straight into the MSA reaction. are important witches who are always busy trying to save the world. They work at the World Witches Congress, preventing other warlocks and witches from conquering and enslaving humans. But no matter how much of a witch you are, there is one thing in this world that everyone hates to do. Dishwashing. And in this new apartment, we don't have a dishwasher. Luckily, we have magic. Breathe, Camilla. Focus, don't rush. Everything you need is right here. Let your head do the talking. Remember- I actually was a witch. A lazy witch that would be so cold. Like, I would be like, wash the dishes. Like, what, is it? what do you say? It's the magical words. Alcohol. <laughs> What's my reporter says? Study honest. Is that the way you wash the dishes? Or is it the way that you light fire? The blood of thousands of powerful witches runs through your veins. You got this. Uh, what a waste of magic. The child should be learning how to fight humans. Is that a In damn time, cat? witches. Shut up, Mario. You're ruining her focus. That chattering cat with a grumpy face is my Uncle Mario, my mom's brother. You may be wondering how a magic cat can be my uncle. Well, we are a family of witches, and weird things happen here. Okay, breathe. Focus. Let your head do the talking. Listen close. Oh, sponge so neat. My command, you shall now meet. Dishes dirty, time to clean, no stains left. That's what I mean. Suddenly, the sponge came to life, turned on the water faucet, and started cleaning the dishes with great grace. That's cool. Yes. But I celebrated too soon. The sponge finished doing the dishes, and instead of drying them, it started throwing them like flying saucers. No, no, stop! My dad and I had to take shelter onto the table. What happened? Is everything okay? All good, love. Sponge, please stop! But it didn't <laughs> listen to me. After the sponge broke all our china, it began to throw everything within reach. A frying pan hit my father's head, and the knife missed Uncle Mario by an inch. <laughs> my mom came in and discovered the mess. No more mischief, no more play. Listen closely to what I say. Hold your horses and in line. Obey this rhyme, oh sponge of mine. The sponge immediately obeyed mom and stopped. What happened here? I told them not to waste magic on foolish things, but they never listened to me. It's my head. Sometimes it messes up the words. I say one thing, but I think about something Why else. Don't, don't make a curse song. You are still getting used to your powers. With practice, you'll learn to master them. Your father only learned to control his powers when he was 14. He was even more useless then. <laughs> Isn't there a little bird you have to stalk? You know, Camille, it would help if you had some friends to talk to instead of spending so much time in front of the TV. There's a young boy in the apartment across the hall. Why, Why aren't they? they in like witch schools? Like every one of the new 2024 like movies or shows, animation, they send them to a witchcraft school or so forth. Maybe this is the old time version. More traditional. Her to have human friends. They're all traitors who would use her if they had the chance. If you want her to have worthy friends, you'd better send her to a witch boarding school. Most humans are good people. I they said are it. just afraid. Yeah, afraid to work. If they could, they would enslave us. So they could stay all day getting fat in front of the TV. In my time, witches. Cut it out, Mario. Nobody here is going to enslave anyone. And I don't like you putting those ideas in Camila's head. Both humans and witches can be good or bad. It depends on who they are as a person. Never judge a book by its cover, Camila. Yes, Mom. And now, dance my tools in a cleaning spree. Broom and brush, dustpan be free. Gather dust, sweep away. 
Kitchen magic, now at play. My mom made it look so easy. Soon the broom, brush, and dustpan came to life, cleaned up the mess, and the kitchen was spotless. Lily, we need to go. We're going She's to be late pretty. for the airport. Now, while we're gone, listen to your Uncle Mario. No spells, especially not in front of humans. And don't go out. You have everything you need here. Witch's word? Witch's word. I can definitely Love tell you that she's going out as soon as she hits the door. <laughs> I, like, if if you don't know this about, like, kids, I don't have any kids, but I'm just saying. As a kid, I knew that if my mom say don't touch that, we're touching that. And if, like, they say don't go outside, the place is burning down. We're going out there with a hose. We're going out there with nothing <laughs> so, or we make an excuse and say okay then it was an emergency or we don't make any excuse we're just like silent yeah you. Love you more. But I love you much. Want some bread with your cheesiness? Don't listen to your Uncle Mario. You're wiser than him. My father kissed me on the forehead and once again, they were off to save the world. Minutes later, I was ready to binge watch the latest season of Diary of a Sorceress when Uncle Mario, are you coming or not? I'm gonna play it now. But there was no reply. I started looking for him all over the house and found his necklace lying on the floor. He loves that necklace. He would never take it off. The living room window was open. Could someone have kidnapped Uncle Mario? Hey, how are ya? Come closer. I don't bite. It's my uncle who bites. Welcome to my story. Get ready because it's gonna get really good. Which is word. But first, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the little bell so you don't miss any of my adventures. If you don't subscribe, I'll put a curse yeah, on you. Yeah, we're gonna put a curse <laughs> on you if you don't subscribe to MSA. The link will be right on this title. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or I'm not. Immediately, I tried to call my parents, but they must have been flying because I couldn't get through. Hey, I'm Emma, super... can I get one of those phone cases? I'm already going to get a bottle for my roommate for my birthday, so could you hook me up? I have a Redmi Note 13 4G. Customize one for me if you see this video. Guys, tag MSA worried my uncle as annoying as he was could be in danger standing in front of the main door i was terrified but then i remembered what my dad always tells me camilla eat your veggies not that the other thing he always tells me the blood of thousands of powerful witches runs through your veins you got this i got this i felt courage running through my veins determined to save uncle mario i opened the door but a little grandma with her walker was passing by she scared the heck out of me and i quickly went back to my house's safety i don't know if i told you but i'm terrified to go out and i don't like strangers my doctor says i have social anxiety so my mom wants me to have friends tough luck right but i also have a wild imagination and i soon pictured all the horrible things humans could be doing to uncle mario maybe they were forcing him to entertain spoiled little brats at a birthday party or jumping fire rings at the circus or worse they were forcing him to do stand-up comedy what is with mustache oh, like what smarter than a talking cat a spelling bee it gave me the chills just thinking about it so I took a deep breath and finally made it out. But as soon as I left the building and walked a few blocks, I started to wish I had the mess. The people and the noise were awful. I felt like I was getting smaller and smaller and everyone was going to step on me. It also didn't help that a strange man dressed in a hat and trench coat seemed to be following me. Okay, maybe he was just walking behind me, but he looked suspicious. I would I mean, run. who wears a trench coat in this heat? My mother forbade me to go out and there I was, <laughs> terrified, crossing the street when and suddenly, an angel appeared in front of my eyes. Well, he wasn't really an angel. He was more like a boy in a magician's costume too big for him, doing cheap tricks at the stoplight. But to me, he was an angel with tan skin, curly hair, and shiny teeth. My temperature spiked, and my legs began to Remember shake. Remember the patch on his face. He has a patch. Don't let him sound like he's all that perfect felt that before. I saw that his handkerchiefs were sticking out from under his sleeve. The boy was not a brilliant Hogwarts student, but he was better looking than Harry Potter himself. I was so amazed with him. Maybe he's the one following her or, or so because he has the same dressed up clothes and would you be distracted in the midst of someone following you by a pretty guy? If it was me, I, I as much as Handsome as the guy is, I would run past him. Them, but I didn't notice a car coming at full speed. Watch out! 
he ran as fast as he could, jumped, and pushed me out of the car's way, saving my life. My dad was right. Humans were good. Are you okay? I froze, smiling with what? a goofy face oh. as people watched us. He waved his hand in front of my eyes, trying to wake me up. I swear I didn't break her. She was already broken. Finally, I snapped out of it. Oh, thank you. You saved She's me. Oh, thank God you're all right. I'm Diego, the best magician in the neighborhood. And he pulled a small mouse out of his sleeve. Sorry, wrong sleeve. Camilla. What were you thinking, Camilla? Crossing the street like that. You gotta be careful here. Sorry, I don't get out much. But my uncle, my cat, my cat got lost and I'm looking for him. My cat's name is Uncle Mario. Oh, if you wait until my shift is over, I can help you find him. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Your shift? Yeah, yeah, my shift. I work doing magic at the stoplight, but I can't leave until I make a hundred pesos. Okay, and how much have you got so far? Let's see. Eight pesos. I'll see you soon. At this pace, it was going to take Diego three days to earn a hundred pesos. <laughs> so I decided to help him. Even though my mom had told me not to do magic, especially not in front of humans, I couldn't help myself. He was so cute. I decided that at least it was for a good cause, and I wouldn't let anyone see me. Tiny I just have to say, sleeps. magic money doesn't it disappear after 24 hours like the Cinderella um, shoe? No, the Cinderella shoe did not disappear. Like the pumpkin. The pumpkin. So plain, a trick of magic, a bit of game. With a wink and a spell so sweet, handkerchiefs, your sleeve shall meet. But as always, the spell backfired, and handkerchiefs started coming out of his sleeves, his pockets, his pants, and even his ears. Diego freaked out, but people passing by and folks in cars started laughing and handing him money. Soon, Diego's hat didn't have just a hundred pesos in it, it had more than a thousand. Wow. Did you see that? Yeah, you are such a good magician. Thank you. I guess I am. Now, where do we start the search? I know a place where he could be. The fish market. Uncle Mario has a bad habit of taking what doesn't belong to him. Maybe the fishmonger got sick of it and kidnapped him. How do you plan to get in? You distract the fishmonger while I sneak to the back of the store and search for Uncle Mario. Distract him... how? I don't know. So Talk to that the cat disappeared at the same time when the parents decided to go on the dog. Like, why? Am about fish? I know nothing about fish. Make something up. Not very convinced. Diego entered the fish market and got really nervous when the fishmonger stuck his knife in the cutting board and spoke to him with his deep voice. Good day. What do you want? I'm looking for a cat. What? A uh, catfish. I'm looking for a catfish. I'm out of catfish. Can I get you another fish? Um, let me think. With the fishmonger distracted, I slowly walked behind his back, sneaking into the store's rear. You're wasting my time, boy. Make up your mind. I got work to do. Just as the fishmonger was about to turn around and spot me, Diego blurted. Can I show you a magic trick? Oh no. The fishmonger was going to cut Diego to little pieces and feed them to the neighborhood dogs. I love magic! What? Didn't expect that. I quickly went to the back of the store and started searching for Uncle Mario. But there were only boxes, kitchen tools, and coolers full of ice, fish, shrimps, and crabs. Pick a card and don't show it to me. A little magic here, a little magic there. In front of the fishmonger's fascinated eyes, Diego made ridiculous movements with the cards. Is that what he calls magic? Maybe humans aren't so smart after all. And your card is five of diamonds. The fishmonger checked his card with disappointment. No, it's not. Okay, we better move the deck faster. We hurry up a little bit. But no matter how hard I kept looking, there was no trace of Uncle Mario. Just ugly fish. And your card is eight of hearts. Are you sure you're a magician? I was about to call off the search. It was obvious that Uncle Mario had not been there. But suddenly, I turned around and came face to face with the ugliest crab I had ever Scarcy. seen. I panicked and tripped over some pots. The fishmonger heard the noise, growled, grabbed his knife, and stormed into the back of the store. Wait, here comes the best part. What are you doing here? He was coming straight at me, blocking my way out. I backed away as I tried to explain myself. I'm just looking for my cat. It's a light-colored cat with a grumpy face. That jerk hat that always steals my fish? Yep, that one. Thieves, you're going to jail. He was going to catch me, but Diego jumped up like a kangaroo and put a bag over the fishmonger's head, blocking his sight. Run! 
I started to run and was about to escape, but the fishmonger grabbed my arm tightly. So he left me no choice. Crap so chill. Don't be blue. Time to win. There's much to do. With a dab of magic, a pinch of fun, revive dear crab, and let's get things done. The horrible crab Ooh. came to life and used its huge claws to pinch the fishmonger, who screamed and let me go. It worked. I was free. But I noticed that Diego was looking at me, surprised. His eyes were as wide as dishes. He'd seen me doing magic. Mom was gonna kill me. Let's go. I grabbed Diego's hand and we rushed out of the store. Seconds later, the fishmonger came out enraged with his knife in one hand and the crab still clutching him. If I see your cat again, it's I'm him. gonna make him sushi. Diego and I ran like crazy, but something caught my eye. The strange man in the trench Maybe coat was the outside the fish transformed. market watching us. Coincidence? I don't think so. We turned into an alley. I was so busy running away, I didn't see a large blind man with dark glasses and a cane. He stopped Diego. He wasn't blind at all. He was just pretending. Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? Let him go! He's gonna Edgar, use magic again. I was going home. Edgar? Are they friends? Why are you not at your post? You're missing rush hour. I was just helping Camilla find her cat. That bony man raised his glasses and fixed his eyes on me. Camilla, this is Edgar, my dad. Your what? Stepdad, who is this child? Where are your parents? So Edgar old. began to walk towards me. He gave me the creeps. She's nobody. Look, look how much money I made. Diego took off his hat, showing Edgar the money he had earned that day. And that crook took all of it. What the what? hell? Cool. That's my boy. And you, you'd better go home, child. These streets are dangerous, and we don't want anything bad to happen to you. Come on, boy. And pretending to be blind again, Edgar walked What's away. Can you spare man? a coin for this blind man? Diego came closer to me, held my hands, and whispered in my ear. Don't worry about your secret. It's safe with me. I'll see you tomorrow at the same stoplight. We'll it's find your cat. Fleshy. He kissed my cheek and left. I almost melted. I've never kissed a boy before. It was getting dark, Good so I decided to go him. back home. You. The search for Uncle Mario would have to wait until tomorrow. I was about to leave when suddenly I felt a hand gripping my shoulder. <gasps> Ah! I turned around and discovered that the person grabbing my shoulder was the strange man in the trench coat. I can't bet it's the cat. Okay, this is part one. Wait, why, why are you guys doing this to me? Okay, it's part one. I think the uncle is the guy in the trench coat. I just had that feel. But I can definitely tell the uncle is the guy in the trench coat. If you guys feel the same, you can leave your comments below. And if you like the reaction, subscribe. Or if you don't, there's something else on the channel you might like. So give me another subscribe. And yeah, love you guys and peace.